Hello, in this video we will discuss layer 3, network layer of OSI model. Guys, in the last video we have discussed about transport layer. If you remember, at transport layer we were using port numbers for addressing. But at network layer we will use IP address for addressing purpose. If you remember, port numbers were used to identify the application. But here, every device in the network will have an IP address. Let me show you. As you can see here, I have some computers, some servers. In between, we have some blue color devices. These are routers. We have some switches also. We will discuss about the use of routers and switches in the upcoming videos. But I told you, switch create networks and router connect networks. If you remember, so let me give you an example to make you understand the use of network layer. Let's say this computer want to communicate with this server. This is a HTTP server. It is listening at port number 80. Now, the concern here is, whenever this user will send a request to the server, all of us know that yes, Source port will be a random port and destination port will be 80. But what are the addresses that are used at network layer? So let's give a look step by step. At layer 7 it will be HTTP. At layer 6 it will be HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is also a language which is used for web designing. So at layer 5 there will be a session number for the request. Let's say session number is 1. So layer 4 is transport layer. Which protocol will be used as a transport? TCP and what will be the port numbers? Source port random and destination will be 80. Why TCP? Because HTTP uses TCP and for HTTP port number is 80. Now at layer 3. There will be a source IP and there will be a destination IP. IP addresses are the logical addresses which are defined on each and every device in the network. Now you want to know why we call them logical because we can change them. Whereas physical addresses or MAC addresses are called hardware addresses because we cannot change them. Now this computer will send this packet. If you remember in the last video where we compared TCP and UDP, I told you a new term that was PDU. PDU stands for protocol data unit and I told you that if we are using TCP at transport layer, PDU will be segment. If we are using UDP at transport layer, PDU will be datagram. In a similar way, PDU for network layer will be packet. At network layer, we call data packet. Now, what this computer will do, this computer will send this information, this whole information to the switch, switch will forward it to the router, router will forward it to another router, router will forward it to, it to switch, switch will forward it to server. Now server will decapsulate the information. How? First of all server will check layer 3. Yes, destination IP is 20.1, my IP is also 20.1. It means this packet is for me. Now server will open the packet and it will see destination port is 80. It means this particular packet belongs to which protocol? HTTP. So this is how IP addresses will be used to send information from a source to a destination. Guys in this video we have discussed how network layer works in OSI model. Thank you.